Hey everybody, it's Webby. Um, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to use the intelligent speed limiting system on the new Ford Ranger and also the new Ford Everest. Um, so there's a couple of settings that we need to adjust in the Sync 4 system. Then we'll go for a drive and I'll show you how it works uh, and exactly what it does. Right, so what we need to do is actually go into the Sync 4 system and change the settings uh, for the adaptive cruise control and also the intelligent speed limiter. So we press this little car button in the top right hand corner to start with. Uh, so we're already in driver assistance, so we click on additional settings. And then we've got adaptive cruise control, so we just make sure that the speed time recognition is switched on. And we've got a tolerance there of three kilometers an hour. You can obviously change it to whatever you want it to be, but for this demonstration we're using three. Then we go to speed limit assist. So again, we'll make sure the speed warning and the intelligence speed limiter are both switched on. And again, we've got a tolerance of three kilometers an hour. So basically what this system is going to do is in conjunction with the speed sign recognition, every time it sees a road sign that obviously tells you what the speed limit is, it will adjust your speed to whatever the speed limit says, plus your chosen tolerance. So in this case, three kilometers. So if, I, if I'm driving in a 60 zone and it changes to a 50, the car will see that it's changed, the camera will pick it up, it will display it on the digital instrument cluster in front of the driver, and then it will adjust from 60 down to 53. So 50 of the speed limit plus the three kilometers that I've adjusted for the tolerance. Uh, so let's go for a drive and I'll show you how it works. So as you can see from uh, the footage on both cameras, we're currently in an 80 zone. Uh, because I've set my tolerance to three kilometers an hour, obviously we're doing 83. The system will always also work by using data from uh, stored sat nav information as well. So if you get to a section where there's no speed limit on the actual road itself, it will then use saved information from the map. So as you can see, it's now taking me up to 100 because this stretch of road is normally 100, but there's no actual speed sign because for some reason they've taken it down. But there's the reason, we just spotted, there's some roadworks. So there's a 60 sign there. And there you go, it's now picked it up. So it's gonna slow us down to 63 kilometers an hour. Uh, so the 60 obviously for the speed limit and then a three for the tolerance that we've chosen. Um, so as you can see on the main camera there, uh, we're now coming up to some roadworks ahead of us. Uh, so that's obviously the reason why the speed limit is now 60 kilometers an hour. Uh, it's not a long bit of roadworks by the looks of it, they're just doing some work here. Um, obviously, yeah, not very much at all actually, it's just a fairly short bit of roadworks, which is a nice change from Melbourne. For the last couple of years we've had roadworks absolutely everywhere. So I can see the 100 sign just the other side of the roadworks. So what you'll see is as soon as we get to that 100, the car will instantly change to 103. So again, adding that three kilometre tolerance on for me. So it waits until it sees the camera close up. And there you go, you can see on the, uh, the smaller camera, it's picked up the 100 kilometre speed time recognition. And going back up to 103, as per what we say in the tolerance settings. So there you go. That's how you use the intelligent speed limiting system on the new Ford Ranger and the new Ford Everest. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section for me below uh, and I'll answer them as soon as I can for you. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a like, share it with your friends in case they need to see it as well. Um, also subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and then that will tell you the next time another one of these tutorial videos comes out. So thanks for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. Uh, I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.